Well, welcome back to my channel for our king and this is of course Assassin's Creed Origins but before I but before I uh, do any missions as you can tell I'm back in Seawall in this video I'm just going to discuss a little bit about you know look at all this area I don't think you can go here yet you know you're dealing with dealing with people that are bad you know bad people people that are kind of hard to get along with uh, just so you know though real quick the alliance and stuff here. You know, cause sometimes you know in life you deal with people that are bad, they want to argue and start fights. You know, sounds like a good idea to do that, right? It does. Well, it's not a smart thing to do. The reason why Well let me just do that. I'm sorry, it's just that right now I'm not kinda of like not feeling too well because I've been coughing and everything. But that's what I want to get into. See, my neighbor likes to smoke. Now, I get bad coughs and everything because of the smoking. But the thing is, though, it's not just the smoking that causes coughing. I have I have uh, issues with my sinuses. So when she's coughing, it activates my sinuses. When, I'm sorry, when she's smoking, it activates my sinuses, which makes me cough more. Of course, you know, Friday as I was coming home, I was coughing, mainly because of my sinuses. And she's like, well, fake cough, fake cough, that's a fake cough. I'm not even smoking and you're coughing. She got upset, you know. And, uh, I try to explain, but you know, people like that, they don't listen, so I just like, you know, forget it, you know, worth it, and ignore it. But that's usually what you have to do with people like that. You don't really want to argue with them, because really you just, you just don't. Let them be the bad guy, is what I'm saying. Let them be the bad guy. By them arguing and constantly doing that, and you're just basically saying, you know, I'm not going to have any part of this argument, I'm not arguing with you, I'm not going to say nothing. And also, don't say nothing bad about them. When you do that, it makes it harder for them to, you know, do what they like to do. Today, she has some of her friends around, you know, they're in front of her apartment. And she briefly mentioned about the coughing and everything. But she really could not, she could not really say a huge amount of stuff about it, could she? All she could do is like, oh, he's coughing, I'm not even smoking, and all that nonsense. But, you know, she don't sound, you know, all her friends could do is like laugh a little bit. Oh, he sounds like he's dying. And that's I don't even know she's there. I just coughing because I can't help it. But you know, you aren't going to reason with a person like that. Move. Or, My informant was beaten, and his goods, mine really, taken from him. The parasite who did this is near. Do me a favor, Bayek. Deal with them slowly. Then <laughs> take whatever you find as your reward. But as I was saying, you know, but all that she could do was say that. She couldn't say, well, he said this and that to me, and I said this and that. She couldn't do none of that. I've seen this where I work at, too. You know, you do. It's just how it is. What the hell? Ah. Why is it showing that for? Get out of the way. Bro, watch your mouth, dude. Why is it not showing anything? It's not even showing the mission. Yeah, we ain't doing that one. That's what gets you killed. There isn't a whole lot she could say about it. I know, what could she say, you know? Now it's... Down it turns. Like when that was at the work, you know, he had the student. He thought he heard me and the professor bad-mouthing him. Where he thought he hurt, but unlike this lady, you know, this lady just wanted to be confrontational and argue and fight. He just came up to me saying, "No, I heard this. You know, uh, you're saying I won't have a chance on the MCAT and everything. You know, you're right. I'm trying my best." I said, "You know, first off, we were not really talking about you." And then I said to him, "I am grateful that you came to me and asked and said something, and you came to me like this instead of just starting an argument and everything." I explained to him this, and then I told him pretty much like what we were saying, and he realized he just misheard, because we weren't even mentioning him. See, people like that I can respect. person like this lady next door, you know, I don't have to respect her. I don't show her disrespect, 
but I don't have to say, I don't have to respect her. She's going to always behave this way, no matter what I say to her. I mean, you guys know, when you deal with someone like that, you can't help them. You can't reason with them. They're beyond reason. They just want to argue. That's why as soon as I got home, she stood up. They say, I'm not even smoking. She, now, anybody with half a brain knows that just because you're not smoking doesn't mean someone else is not going to be coughing. The person's still going to cough just because you're not smoking, you know. Especially if they have sinus problems. Of course, last year, she used to have a bunch of kids around. Now, last year, <laughs> last year, one of her, those kids that used to always be around stole one of my packages. Now, I didn't, and of course, admitted to it. Now, in case you're wondering, I did not give her any trouble about it, didn't say nothing. I just let it go. I didn't have to. But after that happened, though, those kids don't show around, up anymore. I haven't seen them in almost a year. One of the boys was looking in the windows and everything, you know. But other than that, never saw them again. But you got to be careful how you talk to these people because some of these people are just plain nasty and rude. That's just how they are. And they surround themselves with people like that. Now think about it though. If I come to you, hey, I come to you, all right, and I st just start yelling and screaming at you, you're automatically on defensive, okay? And what if I'm wrong? I just made a fool out of myself. I wish that you could. Maybe you can. No, you can't. Too bad it doesn't let you. I just want to make sure you hit the right button. Too bad it doesn't let you, you know, do like a close up. Oh, yeah, I'm like low level. Yeah, I'm not living alone. Stop running, dudes! I hate it when they run away like that. But it's complete. Get. Oh, turn, turn, turn so I can see. Oh, I'm level 14 now, Dukes. The hell? Wow. Come on, you're getting hit. I don't got time for this. Where are they at? I hate it when they run away like a bitch. You know? It's like dealing with bad neighbors. Sex being poor. So this is the problem and the other thing I want to get get at though, you know. A lot of people they want you to feel guilty about poor. I'm poor myself. Most people that are poor, not all, but most, aren't actually pleasant people. Sorry, but they're not. And they really don't have the desire to get out where they are. They just want other people to give them things. That's really all they want. Dang, look at the size of these rats. Is there anything in here? Gotta be something. It's usually a good idea just to not argue with them. Wow, look at that stuff. I mean, I already said a lot of stuff in other videos. But really, seriously, it's best just to let them be the bad guy. I'm not saying you completely, you know... Oh, I don't need that. I'm not saying you completely just ignore them, but you gotta, be, you gotta remember that they're not going to actually listen to anything you say. They just want to argue. So really, there's no value in you doing anything, saying anything to them. It's not really going to help you. I need a berserk. How many points do I have? One. I want to save that. I don't need to upgrade anything right now. I also upgraded a lot of his armor and stuff. I got me a horse thing. And another thing though, as I've mentioned all the time in my videos, when you argue with them, remember you're providing entertainment for people. You're, that's exactly what you're doing, you're providing entertainment for people. Because watch, when you're doing that, when you're arguing with them, watch everybody around you, they're laughing. That's all that's happening, they're laughing at you. They're laughing at the other person too, but 
you're giving them entertainment. Whoops. No. Carl, oh, turn around. I don't know what you turned around for. I hit a button. I guess I hit X. It shouldn't have done that. Don't be the person that argues back with these people. You know, they're low lives. You don't owe them any explanation. You don't need to, you know, you know, I'm an atheist. There's a nice verse in the Bible. It basically it says as a dog returns to his vomit. It's the same thing if you argue with these people. They're just going to return to their vomit. They're vile. You know, you aren't going to change their opinions about anything in that they believe. You're not going to. You're wasting your time if you try. Come on, Eagle. You know, there's gotta be a bad guy. Is that the bad guy? There you are, seven, level 17. Dang. Sometimes you do this and you end up finding out you just didn't finish the entire mission, side mission without realizing. Can you please? Level 17, so you won't be able to take him out of me. All these people are higher level than me. Is there anything to explode? Yes. Oh, man. Now that thing is not going to... I like that show. Setting fire to the beacon. Damn, turn to my face. Why aren't you fighting back, Dukes? Okay, I get it. You love these guys. Fight. Oh no, he's dead. Damn it, dude! Fight back! Get up! Once he's on his gr on the ground like that, he's gonna die. See, that's another thing my neighbor does, though. She listens at my door to everything I say. She thinks I'm talking about her when I'm playing a video game. When I say, "Man, you're stupid" and stuff like that, she thinks that I'm referring to her when I'm referring to a video game. Bro, you got him. Bro, what you call idiot? I just felt bad for him. You know. Like I, like I mentioned in the other video, I had to take my car to the shop, and it, you know, it took about a week for me to get it back. They washed it for me and everything. After they, I guess that's the least they can do. Cost a few hundred bucks, right? Dang, God, these guys take a lot of hits. Help me, brother. Stop hitting! Jeez, oh yeah, I should... Come on, hit him! So what she did... Then he stopped. What she did, is said, oh, he got a new car! Oh, she was so worried that I got a new car. My neighbor was actually worried that I got a new car. Can you imagine that? Can you at least hit somebody? Run, 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 just run! Damn it! Forget it, we're not gonna do this. He can't handle this. It's alright. <laughs> Damn, this guy is not all like... I need to switch the weapon. And that's a good weapon, but the problem is he's not going to constantly hit. He's going to do something stupid. Seems like a good weapon, but it's not. A 
can you imagine though being so worried about somebody oh same level too no that is what we have isn't it is there anything that's good Most of them just don't do the damage, but I guess that's not too bad. Yes, we should do that one. Maybe with a better weapon. No, he stopped doing that. Didn't want you. I want you to put the weapon away, use a real weapon. I mean, where you can fight or something. I guess no matter what, he's gonna do that. It doesn't matter. But, you know, that's just how it is with these people. You gotta be careful with people. Some people are just, they're just like that. They're just mean, spirited. They're just, they're not very friendly. They're gonna attack you no matter what. Let's come back here. I wanna come back here at a later time, but I wanna get this weapon back. Like he doesn't say anything Don't about me. Point anything at me. What? <laughs> should not have come here. Just run away like a little sissy. I'll do some side missions later. But is he still after us? I think we should say what him. Yeah. We can take care of him by ourselves though. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Maybe we could. I wish I could do that. Come on, go. The way he doesn't stay gone. I don't want to spend the whole time just talking about my neighbor. Damn. What's this thing had? I should just go ahead and let's just go, 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 run! Um, they can call the reinforcements that they want, and ain't gonna help. Run, baby girl! Don't let them kill you, they got amazing aim. I guarantee you the guy that's shooting at me is not even anywhere near. See, look how good they are aiming. That's just something you gotta realize that some of these people, they're just nasty. They're just nasty people. You know, you don't want to engage them. You really don't. You're not going to win the argument because that's what they're going to turn it into, an argument, a fight. And you can't win that. They can't either. It's just, you're going to just get be pissed off. They're going to be pissed off. The main thing is, you're going to be pissed off. You're going to be angry. You are going to be upset. It ain't worth it. I promise you, it just is not worth it. These people, you know, arguing back and forth and yelling. I mean, why should I yell at this woman or some of the people I've worked with and met, some people you have met in your life, you know, I'll, when I was in college, you know, 20 years, now 20 years ago, I had that drunken neighbor. I never argued with him. There was no point. But you don't win with people like that. They're just, you know, there's just a lot, there are more horrible people than good people. A decent person will try to resolve conflicts and stuff like that. A horrible person just automatically assumes that what they believe, what they think is right, the other person is wrong, the other person is bad, and when they talk to their friends, it's the same way, you know. Like, if, like a normal person like you or me has a problem with somebody, and you talk to your friends about it, you want, you want try, you're you usually trying to get their input to find out what maybe, you know, you should do differently to help you resolve the issue. That's what a normal person with good friends does because a good friend is not going to reinforce you if you are in the wrong they're not they just say well maybe you know you shouldn't be saying or doing these yourself you know you're not completely right yourself that's just how it usually is let me go to the side and find out what's going on here 
It's easy to be the person that argues and fights and complains and has fits. You don't want to be that guy. You do not want to be that, or that woman. Because I know that women may watch this too, so... Uh, alligators, crap. Go, 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 go! Don't get eaten! Don't get eaten! Maybe we shouldn't have came in here. Go! Alligators are great food, just to let you know. I mean, not great food. What animal? Ooh, thank you. I like to fight... I don't know what animal you want me to kill, but... Why is he not available? Probably this big ass dude here. Yep. Well, uh, he's dead. Alright, killed your big mammy. Dang. They pushed you back. I'm not food. I hate to fight this first hit is that. Crocodile. Damn. That was funny though when I told that lady, you know, I had never done or said anything to you and she couldn't had no answer to that. All she could do is go, uh, fake cough, fake cough, fake cough, like she knows what a fake cough is. <laughs> See, that's all, that's all you can do is pity them and laugh at them. That's really what, all you gotta do. And ignore them. They're not worth your time. People like that, this lady next door, they're not. You know, they're not good people, they're bad people. Their whole thing is just to fight and argue. And be a disgusting, horrible excuse for a human being. Don't be like them. There's a whole lot more I could say, and then, of course, if you check my general, my playlist called General, I believe that's where you find them. I don't have any more like that, and also how to be an a-hole, and some other stuff. I probably should do another how to be an a-hole video, and add this. My, let me know in the description if you want me to do that. Another how to be an a-hole, in which I, um, of course, <laughs> use her as an example. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share. Don't forget to watch my other videos. Don't forget to check out the description for links to my website. Thanks for watching.